Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is day two of the Back to Basics um, Bobo edition. We are doing the Regal Wrap. Now the Regal Wrap, I'm putting in the description the original videos for these three versions of the Regal Wrap. Um, I did have to do a little, a little modification for the size of this shaper because you know I, I've noticed this with other other shapers other large shapers that sometimes the scarves aren't long enough to do the traditional method so I did a, a little tweak for this one which I will be showing you but I will put the links links for the three tutorials that are the most popular and they're so awesome so they'll be in the description box now I'm wearing a t-shirt to hold today um this one is so comfy. I don't know. I just like t-shirt tickles. Um, so I guess I should just get started and stop talking. Um, except for my makeup. I have to mention that I had way too much fun this morning playing with my new eyeshadow palettes and sorry, it's, it's a really dramatic. Um, so, mm. Yeah, but it's pretty. I, I kind of am having too much fun with the, the teal and the pink. I may switch up my, my tichel later. Not may. I will be switching up my tichel later to add in a second scarf so that I totally match. One half will be, this side I think will be pink and this side will be this teal color. I just, it just seemed like a, a funny, a funny thing to do for today. So my husband should love it. <laughs> no, not really, but it should be fun. Now I'm going to take this off and you'll see I did a little cheater pants thing. Now this scarf is, is long enough to do a, a traditional regal wrap with the regular size shapers, but this is like ginormous. So it's just a little, a little different. Now what I've, I've done is I've already put my hair up and I'm going to stuff that little tiny piece into the, into the back. Apparently didn't. I washed my hair last night, so it's a little slippery -er than usual. Slippery -er. That's weird. Um, so just up there with the little combs. Now I've taken this t-shirt to hold. It's quite wide and I've just folded it over to fit my head. Now when I place it on my head, then I'm going to do three different versions of this, this, but I'm not going to remove it each time because I can do, I can do the others very simply i'm going to place it on my head so that i have the longer tail i need one shorter and one longer because that's my cheat for doing the regal wrap with this bobo so i put it up to the front just like so now i just want this tail long enough the one that's coming over onto my left side i want it long enough to come up and to come about here so it's diagonal from from here so just like here okay so I'm folding the scarf into thirds right now on both sides so we bring this up just to check and that's about right okay that should work do the folding on both sides that way when I'm going to bring up the second tail and I'm holding the other one in place I don't have to struggle so much with it so there we go folding it in putting that in there okay now I did not tie a knot in the back because that just takes up more more scarf that I already don't have enough of now this would be brilliant with an extra long t-shirt tickle. I just only have one in um, a nude color. I think it's called cream. So that's on my list for the holiday season. Okay, so I'm taking this guy, I'm bringing it up, and I'm just going to try to keep him as flat as possible when I bring it up. So right to here. Now I'm gonna grab my other one and hopefully it will cooperate. If not, I'll have to adjust it. And I'm going to bring up over top. And just adjust, I can get crinkles, which are kind of cool. They're not really pleats, but they're, they're fun. Just make sure it lays nicely, or at least the way 
I want it. And you can see I've given myself a good amount of space in the front with no scarf. And I'm going mostly over the frill. I call it a frill. It's kind of like one of the, um, tr the triceratops, you know, that big frill on the dinosaur. <laughs> it's the first thing I thought and I was like, cool. So I'm bringing this around. Oh, hi, Micah. Hi, sweetheart. I didn't realize he was at my feet. And I'm going to find the pocket and I'm going to tuck it in. Now, in a perfect world, I could be, I would be able to see the back of my head to make sure this lay, was laying nice and smooth, but I can't right this minute. So there we go, the back and the front. And we can again adjust these to be really, really bunched together, getting those crinkles smooth it out a little bit more and you have regal wrap bobo style okay now i'm just going to when i do this i am going to cheat really quick if i can i'm hoping that i had my pins up here because this is going to be super super fun to just pull the one off and have the other one stay in place but I had to hide the pins from Micah because he really likes batting the box of pins around. It's pretty entertaining for him because it makes noises. Right, it looks like I do not. I do not have them anywhere near me right this minute. So, okay, we'll just make it. We'll just make do with it. Um, I'm just going to pull out the long, the long sash. And I'm going to adjust. This is going to give me a bit of an angle at the front. Just like so. And I'm going to tuck in any pieces that are showing. And again, I'm going to bring it. This gives me this nice angle. bringing around the back and I'm going to tuck this in. So we have this nice angled, angled wrap. Okay. And again, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit to give me more of just even more accent on that. Um, angle just like so okay and then the third one I'm gonna pull it out this one is is yeah is one of Yael's versions um, that one is the last link in the in the description excuse me <laughs> and just bring bring this up and I'm gonna give it a twist. One, two, and I'm bringing it down. And I will fix this, I can see that. So I will bring it down around and tuck in, just like so. Okay, so let's fix this. I can spread this out even more. And cover that up so it's got a twist now I did my twist higher it can do the twist a little bit lower and make sure the little edges cannot be seen I just don't like the um, the surged edges to show okay and there's the third one See, it was really, once you get it placed on your head, just doing a little minor variation and you've got a brand new wrap. Now to add an accessory, ooh, that's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna leave this on my head like so. Now I do have a really nifty headband. Here you are. I have this really nifty headband. And I'm just gonna place it on my head 
just like so. Yeah, I always wear them in angles. That's just my my personal preference. Okay, so I've got this here, nice and pretty. I am going to bring, make sure my scarf is nice and flat. I'm gonna bring it up behind. Now I don't have to wear the, because I have so much space here um, before the puff begins, the frill, I can wear this back a little bit more than I typically would. Holding this in place, having my other scarf. And this is why we fold both scarves nicely before we start. Okay, lecturing myself, sometimes I forget. Bring up this guy and I can just do straight across. I can do more of the, the angle here just like so, because that brings in a little bit of fanciness. It's still a simple, a simple wrap, but we get a little bit of fanciness in there as well. And adjust. The twist might be a little bit much for this one, but I will do the twist really quick. <laughs> do the twist. I know I'm not dancing. Um, I can do the twist here and we have the same. It's pretty. I like it. Um, so that's adding in a headband to this Bobo version of the Regal Wrap. Now, if I wanted to add in, please don't catch, please don't catch. Okay. If I wanted to add in, say, a Sorry Sash. I have one that I've been itching to wear for a little bit. It's got this purple, purple bit with the flowers. I can do that too. So I leave this guy here, just like this. And I'm going to place it on my head, just like so. This one, I will give a quick tie. Dry center it. Give it a quick tie so that it holds in place. So I'm going to bring this up and around. Move it back just a little bit. Up and over. Now this, this will come in handy because I can now bring up this piece and make it hold my friend. See, just like so. This will hold my friend in place. Just gonna give him a quick tuck in the pocket. Okay. And then I'm going to bring this guy up in an angle this way, just because, make sure it's the right side out. And then I'll bring over the other scarf. Okay, so I'm just finding a place to tuck this in just to get it out of the way. In the, in the knot right here should work. Now I'm hoping that this looks good at the back. Um, right now, I can't see it, but I am a... Okay. Bring this up just behind here and I can take this guy see I, I can see him I don't really want to I can cheat him back just a bit okay so just like so and you get a hint of extra detailing it's still keeping it to the one scarf. Okay, tucking, tucking. 
All right. And if you want to have this forward more, definitely can. Just like, just like this. You can adjust. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick spin around and hope, fingers crossed, that it looks nice. There we go. I need, I need to get a mirror back there where the scarf tree is not gonna be for much longer. So, just like so. All right, now, because I'm going to be wearing oh, the two-tone, I thought I would just show you how I'm going to do the two-tone later today as a bonus, extra fun, maybe you'd like to try it, um, kind of wrap. Now for this one, I am going to shorten this up. He's awake. You gotta be careful. And I'm going to, because I want all of the green on this side where they pink, I'm going to shorten this up, trying to keep the scarf off of the floor and away from my friend. I've got this here, and I'm just going to bring it around. So I have all the, as much of the length as I can get on this side. <laughs> okay. I am not gonna rush this one. My apologies for being slow. But I'm not going to rush it so that it doesn't look a hot mess. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay, nice and flat. Fold that in, fold that in. Now, this is gonna go nice like this when I put the pink one on. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it like so. And backwards. Okay, try again. So fun, he's trying to go back to sleep and I don't want to dangle it on him because that's just too much temptation for one little kitty to oh, to resist. Okay. So. Okay. I've got this guy over here. I'm adjusting. This is what I'm doing in the back, just adjusting to make this part prettier. Okay, so, all right. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to go and bring this one up first. This one should be long enough. And then... Tuck that away, just like so, and then I'm, this came loose a little tiny bit. Make sure that's up there. These t-shirts are a wee bit forgiving, so it won't give you too much trouble to adjust after I wrap. 
Okay. And I've got this pink. And there we go. Now I'm going to adjust this here. Adjust this to show a bit more of the green. A green. Oh my, turquoise, turquoise. <laughs> It's not perfectly even, but kind of digging it. Okay. Now this is the crazy fun. It's a double, double scarf regal. Just like that. All right, ladies. I hope you hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you in the next tutorial. So, postscript: I made a slight modification when I was wrapping to get more of the turquoise to show on this side. Okay, and I'll show you what I did was when I brought around the blue. This blue. I don't know why I keep saying blue. When I brought around the turquoise scarf. I left the tail hanging, this little piece of tail hanging on my shoulder, and then I brought around the pink scarf and tucked it in, same as before. I grabbed this piece, to finish it off, I grabbed this piece, I brought it up towards the back, like so, and then I tucked in just where the pink ended, just like so and adjusted here to make sure more of this turquoise color got to show. I'm going to have to, I'm going to play with it a bit just to get the size more even so that it works really well, but I kind of liked it for the first shot at it. So again, have a wonderful weekend. See you in the next tutorial.